Hi everyone and uh, welcome back to this series of uh, B7 uh, exam and uh, this is basically is about a transformer question okay but it has something uh, interesting in it this question is mainly about what we call it the pair unit system okay so it is different than the regular transformer question as we will uh, see in this uh, problem so here it says here a power system draws a load. So here is the load. And the load consumes 20 amps and at 0.9 power factor. Okay. So that is basically the current and this is basically the, the power factor. Okay. Uh, and then it says here that the current is coming through transmission line and the transformer the transformer is given as such transformer given the power rating the voltage ratio and the leakage reactance in per unit not in ohms then it says here the transmission line has an impedance of j250 in ohms okay so now we have a mixed system the transformer in per unit and the transmission line is basically in ohms then it gives you back the the pass voltage as one per unit. See the voltage here is one per unit. And do you want to find the voltage here? Now the voltage here is given as per unit. The voltage here is given as basically or the current as in amps. So again, it's a mixed system between per unit and a mixed system. So how to deal with such problem? We'll see that right now. So basically here, this is the question, okay? So here it is uh, the, the current rating and here is the transformer and the transmission line emitter. So what we do in this, we basically try, we divide this system into what we call zones. Okay. And here the base value to find the pair unit will be different because the transformer has a voltage ratio. So in one area, in the primary, there is a voltage level, and in the secondary, is there is another voltage level. So now let's we need to decide two things in the base value. We need to find S, and we want to find the voltage. So S here, we assume the power factor is equal to one for the per unit. So the S here is fifteen from the transformer rating, fifteen. KVA. So that is basically the S in this zone. I will call this is basically zone one and this is zone two. And the transformer is the one that split the two. Now the S base value, so these are the base value, the S base is the same in all zone. The, the S doesn't change. What change is the voltage? So, so the V base here is the 7200. And here is the secondary of the transformer, the 240. So these are the base values in the two zones. Okay. Now, we want to find basically the voltage drop here. So I need to convert everything in per unit. So I have a transmission line and I have the transformer. The transformer is already in per unit, J.1 per unit. Now, this point, point one, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we don't say this is referred to primary or referred to the secondary because it is in pair unit. And this is one of the advantages. If you recall in the previous question, we, we have a confusion about referred to primary, referred to secondary, and the value of R and X are totally different if you are referring them to the primary or refer them to the secondary. But when you work in pair unit, it is the value point one and really it doesn't it doesn't matter at all so the transformer here z per unit in the, the transformer is j point one and i can consider this of the transformer in zone one or in zone two it doesn't really matter now what we have here is the transmission line okay so z of the transmission line is equal to j 250 ohms I need to convert that into per unit. So I need to find Z base in that zone. And Z base is equal to 7200 square divided by S space, which is 15,000. And this will give me 
for 56 ohm. So that is basically the Z base. So Z transmission line in pair unit is equal to the J250 divided by 3456. And this will give me J.0. 723. So we found Z in this system. Now the voltage here is 1 in per unit. So zone 1 we are done. So let's go now to zone number 2. In zone number 2 we are given the current as a 20 amps. So we need to find the base current. So I base is equal to the 15,000 the S base divided by the V base. Now we use the 240 here because the voltage, the base voltage at that zone is basically 240. So here basically J240 uh, and this will give me uh, current equal to 62.5 amps. Now you might ask a question here, why we didn't take the I base in zone one? Now, we'll have different value because the voltage will be different. Now, the reason we took the base in that zone that the current that was given to us is the load current. The load current, the load itself look, is located at zone number two. Now, I need to find I per unit. Your I per unit will be, you have the 20 amps. So you divide the 20, divide by 62.5, and this will give me 0.3 two and this is as a magnitude so your i per unit is equal to 0 0.32 and have the power factor lagging so it is minus cosine inverse of 0 0.9 this is 0 0.32 angle of minus 25.84 now i converted everything into per unit now i will draw the pair unit reactance diagram so I will have here the bus voltage here and this is one and we have it as an angle zero as our reference then we will have here our transmission line one it has an impedance J.0723 and then I have here the transformer impedance which is J.1 and then I will have here the load. So I have the current here I, it is 0 0.32 angle of minus 25.84. So the voltage at the load here, very straightforward, is equal to one angle of zero minus this total voltage drop, which is equal to minus 0 0.32, the current, minus 25.84 times j.0723 plus j.1 so now everything here is in per unit and we do the calculation for this equal to 0.977 angle of minus 2.9 volt now this sorry per unit this is per unit still now if i want to find the voltage in actual value i will multiply this times the base value which is the 240 volt and this will give me a voltage equal to 234.48. The angle does not change, stay the same. And this is now becomes in volt. So this is an interesting question that you have per unit. We, we worked with some per unit questions before, but this is a bit more elaborate question because you have a transformer and maybe this is the first time we are dealing with two different, with two different uh, zones.